Hi, uh, good afternoon to the panel. My question today is uh, what you've seen from with regards to South Africa um, and how they've been handling the COVID-19 outbreak. Do you think that the country has made some smart decisions in the way that they've been handling it? Um, what can other African countries learn from this, um, whether good or bad? As you mentioned earlier, Dr. Moeti, that South Africa forms part of the three uh, of the highest cases. So what do you think that we can learn from this? Thank you very much. First of all, with regard to South Africa, which has the largest number of cases on the continent, the government did take quite strong action as soon as they understood that uh, community spread was starting. I think they have put in place the public health measures, case identification testing, as you know, possibly. South Africa had one of the that was one of the earliest countries with capacity to test for COVID-19. And initially they were in fact confirming the tests and supporting surrounding neighboring countries with their own testing as they were establishing their capacity. So they did that and then they have done quite strong work on contact tracing when eventually the, the system got up to speed. There seems to be now a slowing down of the spread, of, so the curve is bending. I, th I think this is what we can cautiously uh, understand is happening in South Africa. Of course, the context is extremely challenging. As you know, South Africa is one of the most inequitable uh, societies in the world based on its past history. So we have places where the social distancing is feasible and others where it is extremely difficult. We think that what they have done, what they are doing, may be starting to have an impact. I think we need to continue to monitor the situation with them, but we very much would like to also uh, acknowledge that they've taken on a very aggressive case identification and testing at the community level strategy, which then enables them to identify people early, including those who are asymptomatic, who we are now learning are able to spread the virus to others. The lockdown measures are difficult and they need to be accompanied in our view with very strong communication with people as i said at the beginning so that in addition to the police or the army enforcing what is happening people really understand because somebody that they trust and believe in is telling them and they believe themselves that this is for their benefit 